pursue positive change, focusing on job creation, growing the economy, and improving public safety in the county. Please welcome the county executive of Prince George's County, Rashawn Baker. Thank you, Lorenzo. Good morning. How's everyone doing? Is this a great day or what? Isn't this fantastic? Isn't this exciting? I don't know if you're excited, but I am. Um, because I couldn't help as I was sitting there um, looking, and actually as I walked in, uh, Chairman Davis, Jay Walker, as I walked in, couldn't help but thinking back to 2012 and all that it took to get this to be. You know, there is, Senator Miller, there is a uh, quote that John Kennedy said. He said, you know, um, the feat is an orphan, but victory has a thousand fathers. The feat is an orphan, victory has a thousand fathers. So as I was sitting there and reflecting upon where we are today, I could not help but think of Wayne Keith Curry and the work that he put in to get us here today. And although he didn't mention it when he was up here, Governor Hogan, the President of the Senate, the Lion of the Senate, we would not be standing here today in this facility had he not been the President of the Senate. Give him a round of applause. And certainly Governor O'Malley, who kept his word, who kept his word and called a special session. Give him a round of applause. I, I'm not going to steal Jim Murren's thunder when he talked about Milt Peterson, but uh, to say that Milt Peterson's the most interesting person I've met <laughs> would be an understatement. But can we give Milt Peterson and the Peterson family a round of applause? Now, I'm not going to be long. One of the promises we made of this administration when I took over was that we were going to grow our commercial tax base. Part of growing the commercial tax base is creating opportunities. Yes, we stand in a great facility, a $1.4 billion facility. And yes, we're creating created 6,000 construction jobs during this period. And yes, there will be 4,000 permanent jobs here. And yes, somewhere around, I believe, $323 million were spent with local and minority businesses. That deserves a round of applause. <laughs> and yes, Lorenzo, our good friends on the county council, demanded one of the best <clears throat> community benefits agreement not only in this region, but anywhere. They are around the world. Because what that means is not just 35 to $41 million coming to Prince George's County from this facility in the future, but it also means because of their tough work, because of their willingness to toe the line, is that a million dollars were donated to Prince George's County. $400,000 will continue as long as this facility is here to Prince George's County. It will have an impact. All of that is good. All of that is good. But the thing that is greatest about this is that this facility is a watershed mark for us in the county, not the southern part of the county but all throughout. Because the signal it sends, Mr. Murren, in your commitment, the signal it sends to businesses is that this really is the place to be. That the comments I made when I first took office about we are the economic engine of Maryland and I dare say the Washington region, this facility says that is true. And it also says to businesses, this is the place to come. And so when you see the redevelopment of Suitland and New Carrollton 
and downtown Largo and Laurel and those places, Brandywine, it is because we took the chance and you took the chance on us. And so as I close, I want to thank Jim Murren at MGM, but especially Jim Murren. When we were in the midst of the campaign, right, Mel? In the midst of it, when question seven looked like it was questionable, you know, we met a man who came in, told us what type of facility he wanted to build, and we believed him. And on that belief, we went out and campaigned. And we got it passed. But we couldn't have done that if we didn't have a teammate that everybody could trust. And I think that teammate delivered. This is the place to be. God bless you.